Hey, and welcome back to my kitchen and to another video. And in this video, I wanted to show you one of my absolute favorite summer recipes. It's summer here in Australia, so why not? So when I was trying to heal and seal my gut, I wasn't having dairy for a few reasons. Um, dairy just does not agree with my skin. I can digest it, but for me, the whole point of trying to heal and seal my gut was to clear my skin and also to look at health um, in the overall. So for me, every time I had dairy, I was getting pimples. So I just decided to cut it out completely. It just wasn't agreeing with me. So one of the things that you can't have is ice cream and it's such a shame because there are so many amazing ice creams out there but they're not healthy for you they're full of sugar they're full of dairy and cream and if you are trying to heal and see your gut um you know avoiding dairy is a really good idea um it can be very inflammatory on the gut and a lot of people don't digest milk so really good one to avoid and anyway, I was missing ice cream. And while I absolutely love coconut ice cream, it is so expensive. <laughs> like a small tub is like about $15 in Australia. And like, it's good, but it's not that good. So I decided to make my own ice cream and this is an avocado ice cream and it is delicious. And the best thing is you can make, you know, five or six and put them in the freezer and then you can have them on the go whenever you feel like it. So we have avocado in this, which is amazing for you. Everybody knows that avocado is nice and healthy. It is very gentle on the gut. It's easy to digest. Most people don't have an issue with it. The only thing that I recommend you control is how much sweetener you put in it. So as you go along and make the recipe, then just taste it and see how sweet you want it. Um, I tend to use rice malt syrup because it doesn't have a strong flavor. It's just a mild sweetener. And it also is low glycemic, so it doesn't spike your sugar levels. Um, so for me personally, I like to use that, but by all means, you can use honey, you can use stevia, you can use um, xylitol, but don't use any cane sugar or um, any artificial sweeteners. So let's dive in. And if you do like this video, please like. It does help a lot. Um, and also subscribe if you want more videos like this. So this recipe is really, really easy. Now the only tools that you really need are a blender because we're gonna blend this all up until it's nice and smooth. And first things first, you need to zest two limes and then we're gonna put that zest in the blender. Now this is a pretty good recipe because there's not much waste going on because we're also going to use the juice of the two limes as well and put that into the blender. Okay, so now it's time for the main ingredient, which is avocado. Now avocado flesh is amazing. It's really high in fat, but it's good fat. So it actually goes really, really nice and creamy. And it's, yeah, it's pretty much the main ingredient in this recipe. So we're gonna scoop out the flesh from one avocado and pop that into the blender. Now what I've got here is kaffir lime leaves. Now I'm using two, and what you need to do is you need to remove the stalks from them. 
and then we are going to chop them up as well because what will happen is by chopping them up you're going to release some more of the flavour um, when it starts to blend. So as you can see there I'm just removing the little stalk in the middle because it's just a little bit too hard. So what I like to do, I like to roll it up like a cigar. It just makes it a little bit easier for chopping it up, that's all. Okay, so the final ingredients, we're gonna use our sweetener. Now this is rice malt syrup. The reason I'm using this is because the flavor is very, very mild. Then we're gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of tapioca flour or arrowroot flour, and that's just gonna help thicken up the mixture a little bit. Then we're gonna use two cups of coconut milk. And that's literally it. So all we need to do now is blend that for you know a couple of minutes until it's just well combined. Now as you can see here, I'm straining this. And the reason I'm straining this is because you do get a little bit of pulp from the lime juice, but also the kaffir leaves. Um, they don't really blend very well. So at least this way you get a nice creamy ice cream consistency. So you can see there, that is all the kaffir lime leaves. So we're just going to remove that. And then we're going to pour that into our mold. So I'm using popsicle molds here. Um, you can also just pour this into a container and freeze that. Um, but I don't know, the popsicle is just kind of fun for summer. And then it's also portion controlled as well, so you don't overeat. So what you want to do is you want to freeze this overnight or if you're just putting it into a container then you can just freeze that for a couple of hours until it's set. Alright so I've frozen these overnight and what I like to do is just run them under some hot water which will help to release them from the popsicle moulds. So there you see, so it just comes out nice and easily. And then you can enjoy your avocado gut-friendly ice cream.